Amy Herzog here with a quick overview of custom fit accounts and how to use them. Custom fit is a custom sweater pattern generator. That means that for any of the designs built into the site or one you make up yourself, custom fit will make a pattern customized to your choice of measurements and gauge and fit, which is pretty cool. That means you can knit any of the designs in the site in pretty much any yarn you want for pretty much anyone you want. The purpose of this video is to give you a quick spin around a basic custom fit account and talk a little bit about how to add a measurement set and add a gauge to that account. So here we go. The page you're looking at now is the page that you'll see immediately after logging into your custom fit account. Creating custom fit accounts is free and this is the page you'll see once you log in. There are a couple of different things to notice on this page. The first is that you have a little navigation bar at the top of the page up here in gray that has a lot of really handy information in it. The first little entry on that navigation bar, My Custom Fit, is a drop down that will let you easily get to your home, your account's home page, your measurements, your gauges, and any patterns you've generated from any page on the site. There's a drop down of resources that can give you information on getting started, different stitch patterns that the different designs in the site use, some resources for first time or more advanced sweater knitters, and a handy help center with questions other custom fit users have had, and a link to my blog where there are lots of tutorials and good information on sweater knitting. And then finally, there's a button called Make a Pattern that will you guessed it, help you make a pattern. So that navigation bar will be on any page of the site once you're logged in and it's a really helpful thing. The thing that I want to step you through right now is the what I think of as the heart of your custom fit account. That is the measurements and gauges and patterns that you have saved. You can see here at the bottom of the page there are four circles of different pictures that each one will take you to a particular kind of information. So let's first start by going to measurements. You can store up to 10 measurement sets in your account if you're an individual user and each of them can be different. You can see that I have um, a lot of different people in my account because I make sweaters for lots of different people. Uh, you may not, that's okay. Um, if you want to create a new measurement set, you'll click this button, create new. I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel for how to take good measurements, but there's also some help on this page. And of course, if you don't want to go through the full customized measurement process, you can fill in this form with standard measurements given a particular bust size. So that's super quick how to create a measurement set. I'm going to go to my gauges, which is a place where all of your different gauges are collected. You can have an unlimited number of those, and you can see I pretty much take advantage of that. To make a new gauge, you click the Create New button, and again, you enter in some pretty basic information, a name for it the stitch gauge and the distance that the stitches are in, the row gauge and the distance the rows are in, what needles you used, and then some optional information if you want. And that's pretty much it for saving a gauge. It's a pretty quick process. Once you've created a pattern, you will see them on this part of your account. You can see I have several patterns in my account. Um, there's also no limit to the number of patterns you can create. If you have a basic account, you can create them for either $10 or $12.50 each. I also offer maker subscriptions at a couple of different levels to bring the per pattern price down. And finally, you can see details about your account by clicking this button, the My Account button. There's a link to that also at the bottom of every page in the footer. And here you can do things like see whether you have credits for free sweaters, become a maker if you want, connect your account with Ravelry, which will help you fill in yarn information on that gauge page, change your name and your um, preferred measurement units, your password, your email, all of that sort of thing. That's pretty much it to a custom fit account. It's a pretty simple thing. Um, uh, if you're interested in learning more about creating patterns or more detail on measurements or anything else, check out the other videos on this YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.